Emergency Sim is short for Emergency Simulations. So we're a training company that's leveraging technology to teach first responders to save lives. Emergency Sim has been developed primarily for first responders, so police, fire, ambulance, and also military. So at the moment, we're predominantly focusing on virtual reality. So with VR, we can set up a really complex, um, high stress situation that normally would take us months of planning, uh, lots of logistics to get actors to get moulage, to set up the scenarios, to look at people who are going to assess those first responders. Whereas in VR, we, we build it to specs, we build it to the learning outcomes. We want it to be as realistic as it is responding in the real world. These aren't a game. And then when we release it, we hit a button, you put on a headset, and we can put you in a highly immersive, stressful scenario. And that person can do that scenario three, four, five times in the space of time that it would take us to set up one reality-based training. Every paramedic, no matter where they are in the world, can do the same scenario with the same learning outcomes, get assessed the same, and they can do it multiple times. So where Emergency Sim stands out compared to other virtual reality systems is that we've taken our experience as, as intensive care paramedics and special operations medics with our experiences of a decade plus worth of education to first responders and we've merged that with the creative genius of guys who have worked in Walt Disney Animation to create amazing 3D art and then paired that with the, the latest technology in virtual reality to have this amazing trading system that is just unbeatable. So despite all the years of training someone might do prior to going into that role, it's very, very difficult to prepare them for that first time that they respond to someone who's been shot, someone who's stopped breathing. It could be a baby that stopped breathing. It's very difficult to prepare someone for that. So by using virtual reality, we're trying to get them as close to that event as possible. So the first time they actually respond, they're going to be mentally prepared. And so they're going to be able to have better treatment for the patient and themselves as a first responder will be more resilient going forward.